surprises people I want to be a rapper because I'm such a ridiculously white bread cracker. Uh, sometimes I'll use the word cracker in my act because a lot of black comics use the N word. I like to use the C word. Like, me and my cracker friends were driving down the street in my Volvo station wagon and I said, hey, cracker, pass the sun chips. And he says, not till we get to the picnic, cracker. And I say, cracker, please. He's like, Cracker, what? <laughs> but I said that at a show, and this black guy comes up to me after the show, and he's like, you're my Cracker. I was like, actually, sir, you can't call me a Cracker. <laughs> Only we can call each other Crackers. You can say Cracker, but not Cracker. I actually have a habit of making awkward situations even more awkward. Like, I was moving a new bed into my apartment recently, and this woman who lived in the building opened the front door for me with her key, and she goes, I'm not worried because a rapist wouldn't have a bed like that. <laughs> now, what I should have said was nothing. <laughs> what I did say was you'd be surprised. <laughs> and there's nothing you can say after that. You're just like, or whatever. <laughs> I'm dating a girl right now. I realized recently what I needed to find was a woman who loves me for my money but doesn't understand math that well. <laughs> I lived with a girl for a while. We worried about different things. One day I said, what do you fear most? And she said, I fear you'll meet someone else and you'll leave me and I'll be all alone. And she said, what do you fear most? And I said, bears. <laughs> went, uh, it was nice being here this week. I uh, had a weird summer. I went to a funeral recently and uh, they handed out Kleenex at the beginning of the funeral, which I thought was a little cocky. Like, wait till you get a load of this funeral. You're gonna cry and cry. She's so dead. <laughs> and I got a sympathy card, but I find that a sympathy card is a very underwhelming gesture in a way. It's like saying, I know you're going through the deepest loneliness of your entire life, so here's a picture of a daffodil. I hope that works out for you. <laughs> That's why I want to make my own sympathy card. Like, on the cover, I'd put a picture of a duck billed platypus playing checkers with an apple, and then you open it up and it says, The world is fed up. <laughs>